Hello, welcome back to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. This video is part 2 of access control video series. In the first video we have seen how the what all the components available on the access control policy, how uh, how the feature interaction or the policy interaction between the pre-filtered security intelligence with its own policy framework. In this video we are going to see how the connections is getting applied on each of these components within the access control policy. When you define an access control policy for a device with various features turned on like pre-filter policy, security intelligent, DNS and uh, user defined access rules. When a traffic arrives at an ingress interface uh, that is an um, inside interface or an outside interface first if that connection is a new connection it checks against the pre-filter policy if there is a rule which matches the pre-filter policy then based on the action it gets applied if the traffic is allowed or a fast path the traffic is bypasses all other components and then is sent to um, uh, sent to the egress interface if it says analyze then the traffic is passed on to the next component which is security intelligent or the DNS if the I uh, if the packet is or if the connection is non DNS packet the security intelligence will come into picture and then it checks the source IP and destination IP credibility if based on the repetition of the IP address uh, it applies the policy if the IP credibility is good then the traffic is sent to the next component uh, if the IP is uh, has a bad reputation the traffic is dropped at security intelligence level if the connection is a DNS packet then a DNS policy come into uh, effort and then uh, based it intercept the DNS traffic and based on the DNS query if it is a uh, Queried to a domain which has a bad reputation, traffic is dropped just like your security intelligence. If the uh, request is goes to a whitelist category, then the traffic is um, sent uh, uh, sent to the next component. Then, uh, if it successfully crosses the security intelligence uh, intelligent and then DNS component, then it moves on to SSL policy. If the traffic matches any of the rules within the security SSL policy, then the packet is subject to uh, SSL decryption where the HTTPS you know, it, it gets de it, uh, decrypted and then sent to uh, decrypted traffic is sent to the all other components. If it does not matches the SSL policy, then the traffic is moved on to identity. Again, uh, identity will have its own set of rules. If the traffic matches then uh, identity policy is um, applied on those traffic if it does not then it moves on to the next uh, next component which is access control where user defined access rules are being applied where um, IP address zones TCP user application URL, all these components have, will be getting inspected at access control rule Based on the uh, rule verdict, if it is dropped, the traffic is dropped at access control level. If it is permit or allow, the traffic moves on, continues to move on to the next component, which is quality of service, where a rate, rate limiting is being applied at here, uh, applied here based on rule matching. Then the traffic is moves on to the network discovery, where the packets are being analyzed uh, for various purpose like analyzing uh, network discovery host discovery application web application discovery all this happen at network discovery component then the traffic moves on to the next co component which is uh, file policy and amp inspection where it tries to detect a file within the traffic if it detects then based on the file type or uh, file uh, Reputation that file has been allowed uh, according to allow to pass through or it gets dropped The last component is an IPS rule where the um, 
allowed traffics are being inspected based on IPS rule based on the verdict whether the traffic will be allowed or dropped at IPS signature. In the next video, we will see how to configure pre-filter policy. Check my other videos and please subscribe to this channel. See you then. Bye-bye.